Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness, and this is a Prep of the Day video. Today's Prep of the Day is herbal medicine, or really more specifically, identifying plants that have herbal medicinal properties, that have medicinal properties. Um, we all live in different areas, so showing you what is medicinal here in my area that might make a cool video. I'll, I'll think about that. I'll, that would be a cool video. So I might do that one sometime. But what I'm talking about is more for you guys um, and what is in your area. You get a book about wild medicinals specific to your area, to your state, or to your area of your state, whatever it may be, and then learn them. There's not that, well, there is quite a bit in a, lot, in a lot of areas. Where I am, there's a lot to learn because there's a lot to grow. And that's a weak point for mine, stronger for my wife, for sure. That's a lot more her area. Um, and that's another good point, divisional labor. I can't learn everything. My wife can't learn everything. My wife has lupus. She can't do everything. She can't do most things. I have to do a lot. So divisional labor, teams, mags, tribes, families, all those kind of things matter. Uh, but, yeah, learn, get a book, watch videos, learn about the herbal wild medicinals that grow in your area and the applications of said medicinals. And then go out and locate them, find them, dig them up, pick them, all those kind of things, harvest them, grab them, and maybe even try to replant them in your apothecary, in your herb garden. You can have a medicinal herb garden. That would be a really good idea. Almost all herbs are medicinal in some way. So put them in with your herb garden. And since they grow naturally where you are, it should be really easy to grow them. Something we haven't done yet, I'd like to do in the future. That just keep me off another good idea. Um, another weak point of mine. You know, we all have them. But anyway, think about that. What grows in your area that has medicinal properties that you can learn about? and apply and collect, freeze dry, if you have one of those, dehydrate, whatever it may be. Can, hey, you never know. Learning is a big part of preparedness. Like I always say, this is the most important tool in preparedness. This is the most powerful weapon you have in preparedness. So I love you guys, have a wonderful day, and blessings to you and yours.